Hello and welcome to the second video on a series of tutorials on code extensions within VR Easy. Today we're going to see how to use the send message action to interact with our own scripts or with any other scripts that we may get gathered from other assets and plugins. Now the send message action is one of the actions that can be linked to uh, 2D, 3D buttons, etc. in VR Easy to send a message to other game objects. So we built it in a way that uses reflection to gather all the possible messages that can be delivered to particular game objects and displays them so your, your buttons can interact and call any method within any script. So of course at this point in this version, the send message action is limited to only public uh, methods with no parameters. But this is not going to be a restriction in the future, and we will be expanding on it to have multiple parameters. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and let's do it. So the first thing I've done is create a very simple um, script called interchange action. So this is a very simple script that all it does, um, it's got a two reference uh, to two um, transforms in sort of two game objects in the world. And when the method interchange is called, it simply swaps A's position with B's position. So not rocket science, but it will allow us to demonstrate how to use send message properly. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a 2D button. And we're going to create a 2D button that is going to call the send message action. So I'm just going to drag some of the default um, pretty script. Um, sprites that we put with uh, VR Easy. So I will select and activate. We're going to make it a billboard. It's, it's always nicer if the button faces our way. And we're going to select the send message action and we're going to add it to our button. So go ahead and um, just before that, we're going to call it button and I'm going to create that button. Um, very easy for all of us. Should do and uh, to allow us to interact with that button, we are going to use a, um, a point controller. So, in our case, we're going to uh, we are using the um, camera rig prefab from Steam and the right controller as a pointer controller. But of course, uh, this will work um, exactly the same with a touch controller or with a side controller. Okay, so and the last thing. Um, to do is go ahead to the button and configure our action and also add our script. So at the moment this button uh, has a send message action but the send message action hasn't been configured so it wouldn't do anything very clever. So we're going to add our interchange uh, script and we're going to configure by uh, we're going to Configure the uh, A and B transform, so these are the cubes that we want to swap. But of course, it can be any object in your scene. And the last thing we're going to do is configure send message action to actually call methods from interchange action. And remember that we just created interchange action, so VR easy doesn't didn't know that it existed. And only now, through reflection, is going to learn about it. So. When we want to configure that, we just drag and drop the game object that we want to receive the message, and then the component that we want to receive the message, in this case it's going to be interchange action, and then the method that we want to receive the message. So this is all generated dynamically. So when you select the transform um, to receive the message, you have a list of methods that can receive that message. And but in this case, we want to call a method within the interchange action. So that's what we do. And once that's configured, we click on set the event and we'll see the current active message um, is configured correctly. All right. So now we press play. Uh, you can see there's our button and these are objects. So when we activate, we see that the objects have swapped. Do it again. And every time we activate a button, the game objects swap places. All right. Uh, 
Okay, so that's it for send message action. In the next video, we will be looking at how to um, create new actions, and we will use the interchase action script to develop into a, a standalone action. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.